good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'm Brother Jomar. I'm a Salesian brother assigned in the Salesian Missionary Province of Manaus in Brazil, in the Amazon region. And I would like to begin the sharing of mine with the, with the line, Challenges and difficulties bring out the best in the person. And as we know, all of us are in a very difficult situation right now. And personally, to adjust in a less free environment because we are in lockdown is a very big struggle for me also. However, day by day, there were also realizations that little by little has transformed me. So I'd like to share with you some of the realizations that I had during this quarantine. Many of the best things in life are free. And during this lockdown, I thank the Lord for more time to pray and reflect about my life. Many realizations has come out, I journaled them, uh, strives to really do the resolutions which I have made during this lockdown. And also during this lockdown, I thank the Lord for the gift of creativity, where He gave me the ability to solve problems despite the limited access to tools and other goods. During the lockdown also, I thank the Lord for the many people who braved the storm in order to serve our people and to continue making the basic needs available for every one of us. They are there in the midst of uh, danger, in the midst of uh, catching this disease, and they continue to serve us, to bring our needs, to protect us. Um, there are also many other uh, realizations that I had, like we don't need so many extravagant things to be happy. We were locked down in our houses. We were able to spend time more with our families. And this is a very beautiful gift that I would like to thank the Lord. Many families were united, reunited because of uh, this lockdown. Many families who were actually separated because of work, because of uh, busyness, of being far away from each other, were able to catch up. Each one of you would have their own realization. What are the beautiful things that you were able to identify during the lockdown? What are the beautiful transformations that you have seen in your life during this lockdown? We thank the Lord for all of these gifts that He has given us. I remember Catriona Gray, that gratefulness can create an amazing world. And though we are in a very difficult situation, let us see the situation of pandemic with a silver lining, with hope, because God is with us always. He's transforming us in every step of the way. Stop, see, and reflect so that we can see the hand of the Lord working in us. I remember one priest friend of mine telling me, what are the three most important uh, virtues of a missionary? He said, patience patience and patience sometimes we wanted to see results immediately but the lord asks us to wait and stop and reflect sometimes we would want to get something immediately and the lord tells us patience 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 let's wait and then after waiting you were able to get even a better deal with with something you would like to buy or something you would like to acquire and for example, even in sports, you cannot be a very good football player immediately. You need to wait. You need to be patient, patient and patient in order for you to be able to acquire the skills necessary to be a very good football player. And I think that applies to us during this quarantine period, that we be patient, patient and patient. Because the Lord is transforming us little by little. And after this pandemic, we shall go out to the streets celebrating, thanking the Lord, praising Him, not only for the cure of this pandemic, but also a cure inside our hearts, a transformation that has happened in, in our hearts. Remember, during the Feast of the Ascension, the Lord has left, but He never abandoned us. He may not be present among us physically, like going around, but He never abandoned us. He is always with us until today. And that's my little sharing.
please continue to pray for our country. Pray that this pandemic might end in our country so that we can go out, transform, and praising the Lord for the wonders He has done for each and every one of us. Good night and God bless. Thank you.